WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hey, as we join you here at 2 o'clock, the Fed is just releasing its notes. So we'll watch uh, for the movement uh, in the uh, market. Uh, kind of bouncing around a little bit. Looks like maybe a little down and going to be down a little bit. Um, anyway, uh, as we started here, it was at 4053 on the SP Cash. We'll update that in a, in a minute. But uh, eh, hard to think that there's a lot in here that really says this market's going much higher. Um, I was thinking about buying puts here. Um, after the meeting, I thought hopefully they'll push it up one last time. And then I'll get a chance to get short this market. But uh, we shall see. Anyway, uh, the Fed's out. Uh, I'm seeing stuff bounce around all over the place here. Uh, but uh, I guess we're back to flat on the S&P. Uh, let's see if I can read the statement here and get any kind of idea about what's going on. And nope, I can't. Not enough time. Uh, anyway, uh, as always, uh We've got a few things going on. Uh, the uh, Fed chairman will be talking at 2.30. Normally, he's over by about 3.15. That'll give us about 45 minutes left in the day to figure out what uh, the definition of is is uh, for the Fed, because there's always a little bit of double speak. Uh, but that's it. Uh, now, we have to really uh, look forward uh, to after the the end of the Fed's uh question and answer session today at 315 Eastern. Look forward to Thursday and then Friday, which is options expiration. And then we go into Christmas week, which generally about 80% of the time is about a half a percent uh, higher. So there is a fairly significant bias higher. It's just not much. So as I said, we get into this uh, just look, uh, probably don't want to be short much into um, or more into uh, next uh, by next Monday and be out. Uh, we'll have the entire show in uh, just a few minutes. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky.